Well, there she is, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican from Georgia. She infuriates the left, absolutely delights the right, including myself. I do consider myself on the right, very much so, and a big fan of Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's speaking there at CPAC just this morning. She joins us now, still at CPAC. And I put my cards on the table, of course. I am a fan. Anyway, welcome back. How are you, Congresswoman? Thank you so much. I'm doing great. I uh, just had a wonderful day at CPAC, and it was so awesome to see the energy in conservative Americans, young all the way to old, that are fired up about 2024. All right, great. Hey, by the way, I don't uh, officially, have you endorsed anyone? Are you for Donald Trump? Uh, are you waiting for DeSantis? Uh, what's the deal there? Oh, no, I was out in front. I think I was one of the first ones to endorse President Trump uh, for president in 2024. I'm all the way in. All right. So, look, um, I do want to I, I don't want to get a divorce. Uh, what, what's this all about? Could you, the tweet, you know, went viral and uh, you say, America, what do we got here? We need a national divorce and we need to separate by red states and blue states. Uh, you don't want us to break up. Right. Was this just to get some sort of conversation going? What what did you mean by this? What's going on? Well, thank you so much for asking me uh, about it. A lot of people have talked about my tweet and talked about what they think I mean, um, but I'm so happy to be able to talk to you about it. What I'm talking about is our policy difference on the left and the right couldn't be further apart. On the left, they want to abolish the police. On the right, we want to support, protect our police so that we can get rid of crime out of our city streets. On the left, they want to abort babies up until the day of birth. And on the right, we're the party of life that want to protect the unborn and, and protect mothers and bring kids into the world. On the left, this is the party that wants to, to change children's gender, even though you can't do that, but they want to basically mutilate their genitals and give them puberty blockers and, and life-altering treatments. And on the right, we're the party that want to protect kids. On the left, they're the party yeah. of wide open borders. On the right, we're the party of border security. And we couldn't be further apart. And you know what? So many people I know, everyone I talk to is sick and tired of the left's policies being shoved down our throat. Everything from what they want to do at the border to their woke ideology to ESG. Mm. And we're sick and tired of it. What I want to see is a much smaller federal government and stronger, stronger states so that we can have real safe spaces uh, from the radical left, Greg. All right. So you don't mean you want to break up America. We want a smaller. I mean, you can understand why people national divorce, it sounds like. And people have talked about it before. Secession. Uh, it was debated, I think, when they were drawing up the Constitution, but it's not in the Constitution as far as I know. I would hate to see that happen. So you want America yeah, to remain. I'm not talking about secession or civil war. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about preventing civil war. So you are so good at social media, you know how to get people talking. And I think it's effective. I think it's very effective. Hey, uh, actually, we have a portion of your speech from, eh, let's hold that. Joe Biden was talking about you just the other night. Uh, let's take a look at that. A little bit of more Marjorie Taylor Greene and a few more. You're going to have a lot of Republicans running our way. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? <laughs> Oof. Well, you're on his radar. Uh, what did you make of those comments? And we'll get to the offensive stuff he said in a little bit. But first of all, well, we can do that now. Actually, take a look. This is what he said to that mother, Mrs. Kiesling, about the two sons she lost in July of 2020 to fentanyl poisoning. Well, the interesting thing is, that fentanyl they took came during the last administration. <laughs> um, it's kind of disgusting. Um, it's almost surreal, Congresswoman. Yeah, it absolutely is surreal that the president of the United States would mock a mother who had two children poisoned by fentanyl. It doesn't matter when her sons were poisoned by fentanyl. It's the fact that under Biden's uh, watch, under his administration, we've seen fentanyl poisonings double. It's the fact that in my state alone, it's over 230% increase since Biden took office. And in my district, it's over 300% increase since Biden took office. What he should be saying is that he's sorry to any parent 
that loses a child to fentanyl poisoning. And he should be, instead of making fun of me, he should be realizing that Republicans are not running to Joe Biden. Republicans agree with me because we're the party that want border security and we don't want anyone to lose their child to fentanyl poisoning, no matter what. So the, the president of the United States needs to get a clue and realize what the American people care about. Two quick things. Um, number one, 14,000 hours of security footage. I love Tucker Carlson, but I really don't think it should be all his. They should put that on a website right away for everybody. If you crowdsource that stuff in three hours, we'll have all the good stuff. You got a million people looking at it. It's better than Tucker's 20 talented producers. Can you help with that? Because it's outrageous, quite frankly. And number two, if you can talk about DirecTV, because we appreciate your support. First, uh, the Tucker situation, though. Yeah, absolutely. That's something I've been talking with the speaker's office about is that making the video footage available to everyone. I think it's you've talked about it a lot, Greg, and I really appreciate it. Um, Newsmax has done tremendous coverage on January 6th and everything after that. So I've, I'm in talks with, this, with the speaker's office, and they are working on a way to make that happen. And I think you should be able to show it on your show as well. Um, now, as far as Newsmax being uh, very unfairly treated uh, under a so-called contract dispute um, with DirecTV, I think it's completely wrong. And I think we know why Newsmax was singled out for a so-called contract dispute and kicked off is because you are conservative and you are sharing the views and policies of conservative Americans, um, as well as the candidates that run for office in the Republican Party. I think Newsmax has a very important role. So does OAN. So does Fox News. But we know that the higher ups at AT&T, especially maybe someone on the board up there, um, really pushed down an effort to remove Newsmax um, and OAN earlier uh, last year. Um, this, will, this will not stop, Greg. And I think we know what the outcome could be. And that will, that will be that it will affect elections in the future when we don't have wonderful conservative voices like yours, like your network, um, being broadcasted into millions and millions of homes across America. We so appreciate it. We appreciate your support. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican of Georgia. Uh, once again, good stuff. Thank you. And we'll be right back.